We've been going through doing guides for every single house in Hogwarts Legacy. We've already done Slytherin, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, and well, now we're on to the fourth and final house, and that is Hufflepuff. This video will be a complete beginner's guide to the Hufflepuff house in Hogwarts Legacy, and we'll be going over absolutely everything that you need to know about this house if you are to pick it in Hogwarts Legacy, or if you have already picked it in Hogwarts Legacy, or if you are thinking about picking Hufflepuff in Hogwarts Legacy. Not only will we go over the Hogwarts legacy specific information about this house including the exclusive parts to the Hufflepuff house and of course going over the Hufflepuff common room but we will also be looking at the general Hogwarts information about the Hufflepuff house so not Hogwarts legacy specific information but of course all the information regarding the major events within the Hufflepuff house and the history behind the house and we'll also look at the general sort of yep yeah, information about this house not necessarily specifically related to the game but still applies to the game obviously since it's both set within the Hogwarts world. So yeah, we'll be going over that all in this video. So let's waste no more time and let's get into this beginner's guide regarding the Hufflepuff house in Hogwarts Legacy. So Hufflepuff was one of the four houses in Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Its founder was the medieval witch Helga Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff was the most inclusive among the four houses, valuing hard work, dedication, patience, loyalty and fair play, rather than a particular aptitude in its members. The emblematic animal was a badger, and yellow and black were its house colours. The head of the Hufflepuff house was a Pomona Sprout, and the Fat Friar was the house's patron ghost. Hufflepuff corresponded roughly to the element of Earth, and it was for that reason that the house colours were chosen. Yellow represented wheat, while black was emblematic of soil. The Hufflepuff Point Hourglass contained yellow diamonds. Students sorted into Hufflepuff often demonstrated strong abilities in herbology, owing to their correspondence to Earth. Students belonging to this house were known to be hardworking, friendly, loyal, honest, and rather impartial. It might actually be that due to their values, Hufflepuffs were not as competitive as the other houses, and were more modest about their accomplishments. Hufflepuff was the most inclusive among the four houses, valuing hard work, dedication, patience, loyalty, and fair play, as we mentioned earlier, rather than a particular aptitude in its members. Hufflepuffs were known to have a strong moral code, and a sense of right and wrong, and they were also usually accepted of absolutely everyone. Students in the house were known to value everyone and treat them as equal. Hufflepuff appeared to have the least rivalry with the other houses, except in Quidditch. Although the Triwizard Tournament did temporarily put a great deal of strain on the relationship between Gryffindor and Hufflepuff due to unusual circumstances of the selection of both Gryffindor students Harry Potter and Hufflepuff students Cedric Diggory as champions. This was mentioned by 1998, where a majority of Hufflepuffs rose to defend Harry from Pansy Parkinson and later helped to actually defend Hogwarts. According to Minerva McGonagall, all four of the houses produced exceptional witches and wizards in their time, but due to Helga Hufflepuff's policy of accepting any student Hufflepuff is often thought to be the house of less talented wizards and witches. However, this was merely a misunderstanding of the Sorting Hats poem. The Hufflepuff house had produced a great number of wizards and witches who would actually go on to be extremely successful and have great influence upon the history and course of the wizarding world. Examples of such individuals include the famous magizoologist Newton Scamander, a pioneer in the field of magizoology. What really made Hufflepuff differ from the other houses was the fact that they didn't tend to boast about these accomplishments. It was not considered to be part of their general nature. Hufflepuff was the house that produced the fewest dark wizards throughout its history. Their generally cheerful and friendly appearance could probably account for this achievement of the house. Hufflepuff firmly demonstrated its loyalty during the Battle of Hogwarts in 1998, where they were second only to Harry Potter's own house of Gryffindor in the number of students willing to stay and fight against Voldemort and his forces in the defence of their school. Hufflepuff's nature and reputation was perhaps best exemplified by its mascot, the Badger. Though a quiet and largely unassuming creature that most perceive to be actually harmless, the Badger can be surprisingly vicious if provoked and capable of fighting off many animals its size. And also animals many times its size, especially if there is actually a threat to what they care about. Their capacity to be far more dangerous and cunning than their reputation would suggest was also shown by the fact that of the four house common rooms, theirs was actually the only one that possessed an active defence mechanism against those who would try to 
seek an unauthorized entry. So they really didn't mess about there. So there you go. That was some general information about the Hufflepuff house in Hogwarts Legacy. Not really Hogwarts Legacy specific information, but it does still apply since, of course, it's related to the Hogwarts world. However, it is worth noting that not all of those events will have happened by the time you play Hogwarts Legacy. This is because Hogwarts Legacy is set about 100 years before the events of Harry Potter. But yeah, generally speaking, this all still still apply since, of course, it's general information about the house and it might tempt you to join the house. And of course, if you already picked this house and you're watching this guide to the house after you picked it and are still playing Hogwarts Legacy, then I do think this is, you know, pretty useful information to know and pretty cool information to know just to know, you know, a bit of a backstory behind the house that you are playing in. And maybe, yeah, like I mentioned, that will tempt you to join the Hufflepuff house if you like their general, you know, intentions. But now we will focus on the Hogwarts Legacy specific information about the Hufflepuff house. And yeah, we'll get into all of that specific Hogwarts Legacy information related to the game now. In their free time, Hufflepuff students in Hogwarts Legacy can be seen hanging out in their common room, located in the Hufflepuff basement near the castle's kitchen. To enter, you must tap a specific barrel to the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. This room is considered one of the coziest common rooms in the castle, and is filled with a wide array of colourful plants and flowers, and there are also dancing cacti all over the entire common room. Now, instead of doing a really, really detailed description of everything in this common room, I'm just going to play a tour of this common room, and I'm going to play that tour now, so you can get a general idea for what it would look like if you were to pick this common room and explore it for yourself. So yeah, I'll play the tour of the Hufflepuff of common room in Hogwarts Legacy now. So there you go, hopefully that gives you a great feel for the Hogwarts Legacy common room and what it would be like if you were to explore it for yourself if you picked this house in Hogwarts Legacy. Now, there are thousands of students at Hogwarts and one of the easiest ways of knowing the house they belong to is of course by checking what colours they are sporting, as each house does of course have a different set of colours that you can wear. If you join Hufflepuff, you can use yellow and black garments such as robes and scarves as part of your Hufflepuff uniform since of course the colours that represent Hufflepuff are of course yellow and black. Now, if you do join Hufflepuff, there is also an exclusive quest that you can play through. This quest is called Prisoner of Love. Prisoner of Love is the 14th main quest within Hogwarts Legacy, and this quest is available exclusively for those within the Hufflepuff house. Now, I'm not going to go into all of the details about this quest since that's just straight up, you know, spoiling one of these quests, which is pretty, you know, further on into the game, but you do meet Diggory, and then you do speak to Helen, and then you will actually arrive in certain areas Areas that you won't really see elsewhere and yeah you'll be you know going through some pretty cool stuff within this mission and something that's pretty cool that you won't be able to do if you are part of another house so yeah a reason to maybe join the Hufflepuff house if you think that that exclusive quest sounds like something you would like to play through but there we go that was a complete beginner's guide to the Hufflepuff house in Hogwarts Legacy going over general information about the house that applies to the whole world of Hogwarts and then the Hogwarts Legacy specific information including what the common room looks like in game and of course the exclusive Hufflepuff quest and the uniform that you can wear. So yeah, that does just about wrap up things here. Now, I have done a video a bit like this, or well, just like this, but instead I'm going through the Slytherin house. And if you're interested in watching that, then the link to that video is on the screen now, and you can go ahead and join me over there.